Is this camera on? <laughs> Why do I look greasy? Um. Okay. I want a yellow tint. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another day. Is this too close to me? Y'all just whatever. Hi guys, welcome back. It's your girl, Simply Nurse K. Yes, you guys, it is that name change from Future Nurse K to Is it a fly in my room? Y'all, I can never win. I really can never win. Hold on, I'm gonna change my setup because I don't like this. Okay, y'all, so I just moved y'all because I didn't like y'all was sitting but anyways hey guys welcome back it's simply nurse k i am so sorry for leaving you guys like i left y'all oh my gosh i would never do it again i promise you guys that i'm gonna try to post on here every week i'm not pretty i'm not sure on what day of the week just yet but when i find out what's the best day for me to post on here then i would definitely let you guys know in the video but thank you guys so much to all my supporters that have still been subscribing still commenting still hitting me up saying girl please post i really do appreciate Appreciate you guys if you guys ever miss me and want to get into a little bit on my personal life then I'll definitely recommend for you guys to follow me on my main channel at call me K I will not disappoint you okay anyways we are on the road to 100 subscribers I know that's not a lie but hey it is what it is we are on the road to 100 subscribers so comment like subscribe tell your sisters about me tell your mom about me tell your brother about me tell your uncle your auntie your sister your cousin your daddy your, your daddy daddy everybody tell them about me and tell them to watch my channel but anyways you guys so this video today is just gonna be on how i became a neonatal nurse mm. how i'm liking it and so forth so um let's just show right into this video okay you guys so you know that becoming a nurse on a specialty unit as a fresh nurse as a new nurse as a grad nurse whatever um it's nearly impossible so try to become a nurse in the er or any other specialty unit especially like the nursery or nicu um or like icu just different things like that um it's very very hard um and very very competitive icu er and nursery especially nursery to me in my opinion is like one of the hardest places to get into because a lot of times when people go into those fields they have a passion for that field and they stick with that passion and they don't go into anything else so a lot of times when you see nursery nurses get a nursery job they do not leave um so that's why it's super hard for you to get into those specialty units when you're fresh out of um, school as well as they want somebody that's seasoned a little bit they want people that has a little bit of more experience because it is a special it is a specialty unit and you do have to have a lot of hands-on knowledge before you can just go into a specialty unit but I'm going to tell you guys everything that I did in hopes to help you and that let you guys know that do not give up if you feel like you want to go I see you straight out of college straight out of graduation do not sell yourself short do not put yourself down you can do it because i did it i did it and you can too so the way that okay so i will kind of say i don't know if my <laughs> tips and tricks are going to be a little bit biased because i used to work at the hospital previously as a cna um well we call it a patient care tech so i used to be a patient care tech in the emergency room and for all my cnas and patient care techs i will continue to do videos on being a patient care tech because I was a patient care tech for two years before I became a nurse, so I will continue to do tips and tricks and videos on that. But anyways, um, so only thing that I had to do was transfer over to the nursery. Well, um, it still was hard because I still had to go through the interview process. It still was a lot of other girls that were um, interviewing. <clears throat> interviewing and graduating the same time as me um so the slaps were filling up fast um so number one tip that i would tell you is while you're still in nursing school i will go ahead and apply for the job that you want so um 
if you want to go into ICU straight out of graduation, apply for that job while you're still in nursing school. When you're in your last semester, apply, 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 because the process of getting hired can sometimes take a while, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about that. You got to think about your class is not the only nursing class that is graduating in whatever month you're graduating in. So for me, it was May. That is when a lot of other people graduate at the same time. So imagine you and 30 other applicants putting in a job application at the same time. It's going to be way more competitive when instead of, okay, maybe March, you put in an application and it's only five of you guys. You know what I mean? All five of you guys possibly could get the job, you know? So what what the job will do once you apply is they'll go ahead and interview you. You'll just let them know that you're not finished with nursing school. And a lot of times they will say, um, okay, well, let's go ahead and set up an interview. Um, get this process started. Um, we'll go ahead and put you into orientation. But you can't start working on the floor until you have a um, NCLEX date set. So that was the number one thing for me. I had to have an NCLEX I had to have an in-class date set and once I had my date set I worked as a nurse and got paid as a nurse and started my job as a nurse so um, definitely I would definitely recommend to go ahead and apply for whatever job that you want so I applied while I was still in nursing school I got my date set <laughs> that took forever because I went to school in Florida but I was a Georgia resident so if you guys want me to talk about the NCLEX everything the requirements and everything like that go ahead and give this video a like comment down below if you want to know more information about the NCLEX and I will definitely do a separate video because this video will be entirely too long if I get into all of that I did my interview process I had my date set and I started working as a nursery nurse um so they trained me um, now, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can't go straight into the NICU after graduation um, or even like if you're switching from the ER to the nursery, well that's at least for my hospital, you have to be in the nursery as a neonatal normal newborn nurse for at least a year before you can start working in the NICU and then at least two years before you can start working in the NICU independently. So it is a stepping stool to get into where you want to go. So that's something that I would just keep in mind that before you go to these fields then you won't really get your hands dirty or get your hands wet until you're actually like two years deep into it so that's another reason why I feel like it was easier for me to get into the nursery because I wasn't going to be doing ICU work right away so that's another thing that I would look into at your hospital I would look into like the requirements everything that you need to have how long it's going to take for you to get those requirements and certifications and everything um to know when exactly you're going to start working in the NICU because sometimes if they don't have like a you have to be this type of nurse before you can get into the NICU they won't hire you right off the bat but I believe majority of hospitals does require you to have some sort of experience um I feel like another little nugget that kind of got me into that role was COVID honestly because it was like a lot of nurses were leaving and different things like that so a lot of slots and job openings um started to become open um so I feel like I was that's why I said I don't know I don't really want my video and stuff to be kind of biased <laughs> because I was already working there and then it was like in the peak of COVID so it was just like nurses were coming and going so it was and another thing I would do and recommend is to watch the job like a hawk like literally go onto your job i mean go onto your hospital website every single day until you see a position opening and i would also tell you guys i know a lot of people really want to get day shifts but if you have to go to night shift just to get your feet wet just to get in there go do what you got to do work from the bottom and work your way up just like we had to go to school before we got where we was at you might be in a position or a situation where that you don't really want to be in but hey you got to do what you got to do so you can get where you want to be so if you see a job opening for nighttime apply for it because people leave day shift every day people go to other floors people go to other units so i would definitely just apply for what i see um and then sometimes you know you have to go into a floor that you really don't want to go into for at least maybe a year and then you could switch over to the unit that you really want it to be in um but yeah you guys so Honestly, that's how I got into the nursery right after high school. I mean, right after college. I pretty much applied when I was in college, went ahead, went through the orientation process, and now I'm just waiting my two years to get into the NICU. Um, 
but what I will say is I absolutely love 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 working with the babies y'all um it's like my favorite thing to do but I am still wondering if I want to go back to the emergency room just to see if nursery is really where I want to be at for the rest of my career um I just kind of want to get my feet wet branch off with other things and see where it takes me <sighs> yeah y'all so I just got to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update a lot of people are asking me how did I become a nursery or neonatal nurse and it's really like nothing else I can say other than just apply watch the position openings like a hawk and I would just say talk to the manager figure out who the manager is um, on that unit and I would definitely just say hey I would really love that's another thing that I did you guys so I did my preceptorship on a floor that I actually wanted to work in what I really did what I wanted nursery but I ended up letting my friend Gigi if you guys watched my other video like a day in nursing school Gigi she was pregnant so I didn't really want her to go into like a hard laboring floor during nursing school while she was pregnant so I let her go into the nursery and I went into layman delivery while I was in layman delivery I was just kind of letting everybody know hey I really want to work in this unit I really want to work on this floor who should I talk to they gave my manager my name and my number and you know she they kind of just talked to her for me and then every time I see her you know she speaks to me and I think she kind of talked to the other lady and then after that shortly I got my interview so I would just say preceptorship talk to people ask to speak to the manager um, sometimes like hospital have little functions where you can come in and you can do like volunteer work I would definitely just go and do volunteer work sign up for different things that the hospitals I, um offer it and just get your name out there get your feet wet and say and then that's also another thing that you can add to your resume that's how I became a needle natal nurse if you guys want to know how I became a nurse all the stuff that I had to go through with becoming a nurse. I will link that video down below in the description box. If you want me to talk more into what I do as a nursery nurse and get into more videos on like what I do in the everyday life of being a nursery nurse. What is my role? What is suspected of me? How do I chart? Yes, you guys. I think I'm going to do a video on how to chart as a nurse. So everybody know what's important to chart and what's not important to chart. Because I feel like a lot of people kind of get caught up on to I don't know what the chart i don't know if i'm trying too much too little da, da, da. so if you guys want me to come if you guys want me to do a video on how to chart as a nurse i would definitely do that video that probably will be my next video that i do for you guys so don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any specific questions don't hesitate to ask and without further ado you guys thank you guys so much for watching see you soon